here and I have a video where I'm going to almost recreate this card. I posted this card last week on um, the, a blog named Hero Facebook page and I had so many comments on my blog and on Instagram asking me how I made it that I decided to make a video. Now I'm not making exactly the same card. I'm switching it up a little bit. So I'm using a different die, different stamps, different color scheme, but it's the same general gist of the card. So the main um, card base that I'm using is actually a clear acetate card, which is from Hero Arts. Um, these are really cool to make. I tend only to make them at Christmas time. I don't know why I only make acetate cards at Christmas time. But anyway, I do. And it just looks so lovely when you add some sparkle. So I'm adding some sparkle using this um, white glitter cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. The main reason I use this one is that it die cuts beautifully. There are other cardstocks, glitter cardstocks that I've used that when you die cut them, they're just painful to use. <laughs> but this Simon Says Stamp um, glitter cardstock is just so easy. So what I've cut it with is the Holiday Greenery uh, Fancy Edge die from Hero Arts. In my original card, I used the Snowflake Edge um, die, but yeah, as I said, I decided to change it up a little bit. Now, I also changed it up a little bit by the way I'm making this because on my first original card, I actually die cut these two pieces that I'm showing you here from one piece of white cardstock. I actually just did partial die cutting on one edge, then turned the die around, did partial die cutting on the other edge and made one big panel with two edges. And then I um, embossed it with clear glitter embossing powder. But I decided I could do it much more easily than that this time to get exactly the same look. So I went with glitter cardstock and I'm just cutting a panel to go over the top. So I cut, I, first of all, I measured the distance um, that was left in between those two edge um, dies and um, used that to cut my four panels. Now you have to have four panels, one for the front of the card, one for the back of the card, and then you need ones to cover up the adhesive that you can see through the acetate. So you need one on basically every surface of the card. So I'm now using this uh, stamp, which says wishing you all peace, love and joy, which I think is a really important sentiment, um, especially at Christmas time. This is from the Hero Arts Winter Holiday Sentiment Stamp set. Um, and it's one of my favourites. Um, I quite often use sentiments from this set on the inside of my cards at Christmas time. But what I'm doing here is I am white embossing it using um, Hero Arts white embossing powder. <clears throat> and now what I'm doing is I'm going to use my life-changing blender brushes from Picket Fence Studios to add some colour. Now, on the original card, I used pale grey blues um, and greens, but I decided to go a little bit more colourful for this one. So I'm using Distress Oxide inks in Salty Ocean, in Picked Raspberry and in Wilted Violet. So I was trying here to get sort of three patches of each colour, so three blobs of blue, three blobs of pink, three blobs of purple, and try and sort of blend them in to each other in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm done with my ink blending, just rubbing off some of the ink that was on top of that embossing there. But now I want to add a whole heap more detail and texture and interest to this panel. So I've already got glitter um, on the die cut, so I'm now adding some shine using some Perfect Pearls in water. So this little spray bottle that I have just has uh, Perfect Pearls powder in the color Perfect Pearl, uh, just in, in tap water. And I just sprayed some onto my work surface and used an old paintbrush to just flick it onto that panel. Now, I also wanted to add a little bit more detail, and this is something that I did on the previous card as well. I'm just um, splattering some just clear water. So this is not perfect pearls water. This is just water. 
and um, just to make some splatters there and I'm going to then add some white embossing powder again so get some sort of white splashes on there now I'm trying very hard to avoid um, the sentiment because I want to make sure that I don't obscure the sentiment with any extra embossing so I'm just removing some of that with a dry fluffy paintbrush and you can see here that even with that the sentiment lost a little bit it wasn't standing out so I just grabbed a C3 cool grey Copic marker and with the brush tip I'm just adding a little shadow to the left of each of those um, letters and it just makes the sentiment um, pop just a little bit when you look at the card if I hadn't shown you that I did this you probably wouldn't even notice uh, that it was there but it really does make a difference to the legibility of that sentiment I could have added a little bit more uh, color a little bit darker color around the sentiment to make it stand out but I thought just um, putting this little drop shadow um, to the left um, just added enough to make it um, clear and easy to read. All right, so I'm just checking now that everything is lining up, making sure I don't need to cut anything off this panel before I adhere it. And because I wanna make sure that I get it exactly right, and you can see my uh, die cut panels don't have equal edges on them. Um, so the flat edge on them was a little bit crooked on one of them. So I wanted to make sure I line up perfectly. So that's why I use the liquid adhesive. So I had a little bit of wiggle room. Now I left it underneath my um, Misty for a little while, for a few minutes, just so it would adhere properly. But this little corner just yet yeah, refused to stick. Um, so possibly I didn't add enough uh, glue in the first place in that corner. But also the paper had warped a little bit because I had sprayed it with um, a fair amount of water with that Perfect Pearls in it. So yeah, I just added a little bit more glue just to make sure that it was stuck down good and proper. All right, so you can see on the back of the card that all that adhesive behind that front panel is completely visible. So that's why we need um, all the extra panels. So this panel that I'm adhering now is to make sure you can't see the adhesive from the front of the card. This panel that I'm going to adhere next is so you can't see the adhesive on the last panel that I'm going to add, but also so I have somewhere to stamp my little Handmade by Michelle stamp. And then this panel, which is on the inside of the card, is for me to actually write my personalised sentiment to the recipient of this card. So I could have left it just there, but this is me and I can't leave well enough alone. I tossed up the idea of adding sequins, but I thought I just need a little touch, little, little touch to finish it off. So I just added some Stardust Stickles. So that's the card for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a close up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again here next time. Thank you very much. Here comes the close up. And you can see all that sparkle and shine there. Thanks very much. Bye.